In a city in the south of France, where old architecture mingles with modern convenience, there's a group of people dedicated to creating something completely new. It's the Beyond Good and Evil 2 team at Ubisoft Montpellier, and though they've been working on their space pirate epic for some time now, things have heated up significantly since their dramatic E3 announcement. Our goal now is to keep this uh, very hot, you know, and uh, yeah. still continue cooking and really making uh, it uh, being more polished and final, you know, with all the ingredients. Our, our biggest mission when we came back to E3 was actually communicating uh, all this positive energy, positive feedback we got. We really wanted the team to understand that they want to play it and they expect something really great. And we are really focusing on uh, what are your motivations into the game. Something that I tell the team is, um, okay, we decided we were going to make a space pirate game, so everything that a pirate is doing in the mythology of pirate, you put space in front of it and we do it in the game. Boarding, I want space boardings. Treasure hunt, I want space treasure hunt. You are a captain, a pirate captain, but you have a crew. And uh, the whole game is uh, really based on how you uh, we make the relationship interesting. Well, we know that the heart of the story is going to be uh, carried by our officers and then, uh, uh, and then we'll need to recruit crew members. We are thinking about the background of the characters, the background of the world. Uh, yes, it's really about people into a um, complex and mysterious world. I'm writing now, so I, I'm sort of like throwing out ideas and basically nourishing uh, the team uh, and Michelle with as many possibilities as we can until with the artists that we've been working very closely with to create the characterizations, that this all sort of comes together and we go, oh yeah, that's, of course that's the story. It could never have been anything else. So that's, that's, that's really what, what we're working with. We are working uh, on the chips, on the spaceships actually. So it runs from the small tuk-tuk and motors, what we call speeders, to the big uh, mother ship, which is uh, 500 meters big. We got a huge ship that's inspired from the, the shape of a whale. And around it, we, we make small objects that could be uh, girls, for example, or insects. It can be like a 17th century ship riding through the seas with a girls flying and, and that's, that's, this kind of pictures inspired us the way we treat uh, the mechanics, for example. Now keep in mind that Beyond Good and Evil 2 is still in the conception phase, a time when most games keep their cards close to the vest. But this team is laying them out on the table because they want you to be a part of the process through the Space Monkey program. The goal of the Space Monkey program is to have a mutual inspiration. Uh, we've been doing blog posts where you know, we really take a lot of time uh, with the team and sit down and say, okay, what kind of questions, what do we want to know from our fans? Right now it's just the beginning, so it's more like we are triggering subjects, discussions, and it's comments, but we want to move way be beyond this, you know, where we would love people to come into the studio and discuss interesting subjects. On Whether we achieve this kind of transparency that will allow uh, the community to, to see, okay, this is where the direction where they're going, and if that changes at some point, then uh, we can say, okay, this is why it happened, we told you this, this is why the change happened, and um, this is where we're going. At some point, they can be considered a part of the developers. That's, so, so there's no so much difference. That's why we want to blend, you know, the, the, the frontier, you know, the, uh, we want to, to blur the lines between developers and passionate people because they have to be passionate people. We know that the development is taking a long time. We don't say no, we say yes to giant spaceship, a lot of friends into the spaceship, online, adventures, the solo experience also, you know, all these things. We say yes, we, we can make it, we can connect all the, the things all together. But nobody has ever made this kind of thing in a video game, you know. Uh, so, so since if we know, know you know, the, the pressure, and the good pressure is still, is still on, which is good. The creation of Beyond Good and Evil 2 is well on its way, but there's still a long way to go. In the coming months, the team will be sharing more art, more video, more progress updates, and more chances for you to be a part of it all. Join the Space Monkey program at bgegame.com and subscribe to this YouTube channel to stay updated.